Monohybrid crosses are the simplest of crosses, as they only involve one trait or characteristic. They are not very common in higher levels. The steps, however, are mostly the same as the more complicated genetic crosses, so they are a good introductory example. In humans, brown eye, capital B, is dominant to blue eye, lowercase b. Two parents, one heterozygous for eye colour and the other with blue eyes, start a family. What is the genotype of the blue eyed parent? Step 1. Before you do anything, you make your key. The key doesn't actually get you any marks, but students who do not do a key are most likely to get the question wrong overall. Step 2. Write down the genotype for the blue eyed parent. In this case, there is only one genotype that would give blue eyes. Homozygous recessive. Step 3. Generally, once you've the parent's genotypes written, you write down the gametes. The gametes will always be half the parent's genotype. They are the probability also, meaning the homozygous recessive genotype, only one gamete is present. You can write it out twice if you want, as it is not wrong, but you'll see later on that this just complicates things, and you'll still get the same answer anyways. Remember that one parent is heterozygous, so there will be two gametes present. I will always put a circle around the gametes. It helps focus what is actually needed. Step 4. The Punnett square or genetic cross. This is where you will cross the gametes with one another. The setup is always the same. Place an X in the top left corner and fill one set of the gametes vertically and the other horizontally. Simply combine the gametes. They should be all in pairs now. These are the potential offspring genotypes. Step 5. The final step involves you recording the potential phenotypes present. Refer back to your key and be clear which genotype you are talking about.